G'day everyone, it's that time of the month again where I open some of the amazing gifts and presents that I've been sent by you amazing people. Hey Robbie, you've got mail! You better check your mailbox! Yeah, thanks Robbie, I heard that! Post Office Box 4040 Wangaratta, Victoria 3677. Right folks, it's time for some mail time. Before I start, I just want to talk about something. This happens this time every year. I get a lot of comments like, when are you going to go yabbying again? And when are you going to go catching redfin? Are there going to be more redfin videos? The answer is yes, there will be more yabby videos, more redfin videos. But I live in the temperate zone, which means that we have a summer and a winter. The weather is very, very seasonal. It's not like Queensland where it stays pretty warm right throughout winter. Where I live, it gets very cold in winter and very hot in summer. And everything is seasonal, and that includes the fishing. This time of year in the winter, it's almost impossible to catch yabbies. Yabbies are very, very quiet in the cold weather. There might be one or two isolated places where the water stays warm for whatever reason, or the yabbies keep biting. But for the best part, most people don't catch yabbies this time of the year. And the redfin fishing this time of year is okay for the people that put in a lot of work and fish in deep water in lakes from their boats chasing the big winter redfin but for the common angler that's a really slow time of the year and the same with murray cod so yes there will be heaps of those videos coming out again but once the weather warms up this time of year it's all about carp fishing in the lagoons and the swamps cray fishing and doing some trout fishing in some of the lakes the winter fishing options so folks they are coming the redfin and the yabby videos will be coming back but when the weather warms up right Let's get into the mail. This one's been sitting there the longest. Now, at the moment, it is the 13th of June. So, if you've sent anything in the last week or so, and it doesn't turn up in this video, it'll be in next month, because that means that it hasn't made it to my PO box yet. Right, let's get into the first one. This is from I Grant in South Australia. I could be Ian, I'm guessing, or it could be something else. Right, we've got a letter here, and we've got another parcel inside the letter. Let's open the letter. G'day Robbie, here's a little reel for Rowan. Could you please pass it on? I don't care if he opens it on camera or not. Thanks, Dean, aka Joseph King. Ah, Joseph, Dean, Joseph. Thank you very much, Joseph King, and thank you for commenting on a lot of my YouTube stuff. Okay then, well what I'll do, if this is for Rowan, I'm not even going to open it, I'll just give it to him and he can do with it whatever he likes. Thank you very much Dean, I really really appreciate it. I'm not even going to look in there to see what sort of reel it is, that's going straight to Rowan. Hopefully I can catch up with Rowan soon, if I can't catch up with him within the next week or two I'll mail it to him. Anyway, that's one down, thank you very much Dean, or as you are on Facebook, Joseph King. And thank you for interacting so much and commenting on my stuff. You're a very much a valued follower of my Facebook page. This one is from Darren. Hey you! Hi Robbie, just a quick note to say thanks to you, Brett and Rowan for the videos. They have kept me so have kept me sane during these lockdowns. Can you please pass on one to each Brett and Rowan? I always see you all looking for a tape measure. Thanks, Darren. I'm always looking for tape measures. Thank you so much, Darren. Let's have a look at these tape measures. How good is that? Darren has sent these Daiwa tape measures, a D measure. Well, one of them's mine, so I'll open one. That's a, a Daiwa tape measure. I'm going to open one. I've got one here. That's going on the Rowan pile over here with Rowan's reel that he's getting from Joseph King. This one's going to Brett. I'll be able to catch up with Brett really soon because Brett lives in my town. It's actually right now, it's the Sunday of the Queen's birthday weekend. I'm thinking about giving Brett a buzz and seeing if he wants to go and uh, wet a line somewhere tomorrow afternoon on Queen's birthday. Now mine, I'm going to open it up. Oh, there it is. I'm thinking this is cool, but how does it actually... It's actually got... I'll uh, put it on here. Let's see if I can focus on that. Is that focusing? No, it's picking up my face. There we go. It's actually, it's like a, a lanyard that goes around your neck and it, uh, I'm having camera issues. It always likes to focus on my face. I've got a very pretty face and that's why. What if I cover my eyes like that, it'll help. It's like a neck lanyard with a built-in tape measure on it. Ah, oh, okay. You push that button and it releases. Oh, cool, look at that. It goes up to 80 centimetres. 
So it's good for us because we don't catch a lot of bigger cod than that. So but, uh, it goes up to 80 centimetres. The maximum size for Murray Cod is 75 anyway. Great for, the only people that wouldn't find this useful would be the big, the guys that target the big cod that get in the Murray and cast the big lures and spend days on end just to try and catch one or two fish. But for us common anglers, that is just absolutely awesome. I love that. I'm going to be wearing that in my videos next season. Then it goes around your neck and it's a lanyard. Thank you so much, Darren. That is so awesome. I'll make sure Brett gets his within the next couple of days and Roman will get his when he gets the reel and I'm going to catch up with Roman pretty soon. Last year in the middle of winter, we spent an afternoon bait fishing at the Waranga Basin. We caught uh, one redfin about that long right on dark, but it was just wonderful to catch up and we're hoping to do that again this year. So I'll be uh, hopefully heading over to catch up with Roman really soon. All right. The next one is from Millen Slim. I'm sure whether it says Slim or Slim. Looks like double N. It's big. That's what it is. Hello, Robbie. I'm 12, turning 13. I live in Mildura and have a passion for fishing. And when I'm not fishing at school, not fishing at school or doing sport, I'm watching your videos. You have put a smile on my face with your dad jokes. <laughs> I do all sorts of fishing, but my favourite is lure fishing for Murray Cod. My Insta is. P-O-L-J-A-K-469 for a shout out. Thanks from Millen. You like dad jokes, hey? What could a flea and the Eiffel Tower possibly have in common? A tiny little flea and the huge big Eiffel Tower. Well, ones, they're both parasites. One's a parasite, one's a parasite. That's terrible. Look, thank you so much, Millen. It's a... Uh, it's a giant Murray Cod and he's attacking Mr. Orange. Look at that. That is so awesome. You've done a great job on that drawing. That looks very much like the Orange Predator, doesn't it? Nice skinny body. You've nailed it. Thank you so much, Mil Millen. Millen. Sorry, I can't remember whether it's Millen or Millum. Right, so you ch check out, I think it says Poljack. P-O-L-J-A-K 469. I'll see if I can find it, folks. I'm not sure whether I can put a link to Instagram accounts in the video description or not. I don't think I've ever done it. I've, I've linked to Facebook pages, but I'm not sure whether you can link to Instagram. Leave it with me. I'll see if I can find uh, Poljack 469, a link to put in the video description. Thank you very much, Millen. Millen, M-I-L-A-N. If it's Milan and not Milan, I apologise. Right, this one's from... <laughs> Zeppelin. Ah, Zeppo. Zepp is my hero. You guys, did you guys see my video where I was bring fishing at now and now with Zeppelin? That was the most funnest day. And I'm going to do it again. And I just can't wait. They've, uh, they've been inundated with water down there at the moment because they've had all that rain in Gippsland and... I, everyone that's followed my video has seen letters from Zeppelin. They've sent him on my channel. and the, he, look, Zeppelin's going to be the mayor of Now Now one day. I'm not joking. He is an absolute champion. Every kid needs to be like Zeppelin. He's the best. All right. What have we got? Righto, from Zepp. To Robbie. Hey, mate. How are you? Awesome, I hope. Thank you so much for being an awesome mate and coming fishing with me. It was the best day ever. I want to thank you and thank everybody for the nice comments that dad that dad showed me it made me feel really cool and proud i also had mark from fisheries at lakes entrance send me a calendar and fish book which is wicked cool dad says i'm super lucky we are flooded at the moment and can't go to within 100 meters of the spot we went fishing the spot we were fishing last weekend we went out there in the boat in now now and we got 12 fish i got eight dad got four and three of my brim were over 40 centimeters but they had to go back because of size limit is now 28 to 38 centimeters zeppelin did you take me to the spots where there's only little ones and then when i left you went to the spots where the big ones are <laughs> so thank you for coming fishing with me for being a good mate and for making my dream come true robbie the man the myth the legend loves zeppelin how cool is that you know what, before I show you all Zeppelin's awesome pictures, I love kids. I love knowing, it's almost like 
a power, having an influence over kids and being able to make kids smile. In fact, I've only just got home from a long walk along the river about an hour ago. Sometimes I'll just go for a walk along the river and when I see kids fishing, I never know whether they recognise me or not. So I just go and walk next to them and have a look at the river. They'll either yell out, Robbie, Robbie, or they say nothing. If they say nothing, I'll just casually walk away. If they say, Robbie, Robbie, I'll go over and i get a selfie and that means every bit as much to me as what it does to you young people. You, you say I made your dreams come true. Zeppelin, if it wasn't for people like you, I wouldn't be doing what I am because you're making my dreams come true too. So thank you very much. Now, Holly, going to need a bigger boat. Holly's in this one. Me, fish on. I've got one. I've got one. I've got a southern bluefish tuna. Southern bluefin tuna, sorry. Look. Holly, Holly says you're going to need a bigger boat. And me saying fish on. And Zeppelin's finally allowed me to catch a big fish. He's been drawing pictures of me for years and I've always, he's caught the fish, he's standing beside me with a fish and I haven't got one. And now it's my turn. Look at that. And there's a, uh, a brim. Zeppelin, you're getting very good with your drawing and your writing. That is really, really awesome. Well done, Zeppelin, and thank you very, very much. Last but not least, I've got one from Samuel. I think it's a Samuel Pavy. G'day Robbie, my name is Samuel and I live in Burke. I'm 11 years old and I enjoy riding my motorbike, hunting, fishing, holding my snake and a lot more. I really want to catch a cod but it's been pretty tough. What's your advice? From Samuel. Samuel, thank you so much for the letter. You love all the things that I, that I love. I've got a pet snake as well. I, love, I used to do a bit of hunting, but not so much these days. Although when I'm out the bush fishing, my hunting eyes are still on for signs of uh, deer and foxes and whatnot. I love fishing, obviously, and I love riding motorbikes. So you and I have got a lot in common, except you're 11, which means that I was 34 years old when you were born. I'm probably older than your mum and dad. But anyway... My advice, I don't know the river at Burke. I've never fished the Darling River. I know there's been fish kills in Burke down lower. I'm not sure whether they've been in your area. So all I can do is assume that your area is okay and that there's still Murray Cod in the river. Based on that assumption, this time of the year in my area, I can catch Murray Cod, but I've got to be very, very patient. I normally sit on the bank with cheese and I've got to be willing to sit there for a few hours without a bite. And occasionally I'll catch a fish. They do slow right down, but the odd fish will still come out and bite. Once the weather warms up, they're easier to catch. And also this time of year, in the winter, I find cod fishing in my local river here in the winter, sunny days seem to be a bit better and fishing in the sunlight seems to be better. Whereas in the warmer months, sunrise and sunset, the low light times of the day are by far the best. But this time of year, I like the middle of the day when the sun's out. Cheese is my favorite bait, but I also like to have a second rod in with worms. Cheese is to catch the cod. Worms will also catch cod. Worms will often catch smaller cod, but they're still cod, and they'll also catch other fish. Like in your area, there might be golden perch, perhaps silver perch, I'm not really sure. I don't know if there's golden perch up that way. There's obviously going to be carp there, and they'll all take the worms. So my advice, mate, you have two rods, one with tasty cheese, little cubes of tasty cheese, one with worms, fish in the sun, sit in the sun, and be prepared, and take a comfortable chair and be prepared to sit and be very, very patient. That's winter Murray cod fishing the way I do it anyway. As always, I have been spoiled rotten. Thank you all very, very much for your amazing mail. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you all very, very much for watching. It's winter. I'm still going to be going fishing. When the weather warms up, I'll get back into the Redfin and the Yabbies. But for now, it's time to go cray fishing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give me a big double thumbs up? Hit that subscribe button down there. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.